Hey there! Ready to get on board with Files Internet and TV? Great! But before we begin, you'll need to do one very important thing. Take a couple of minutes to disconnect all of the existing TV equipment in your home, including third-party streaming devices. This will allow your new equipment to connect correctly. Go ahead, hit pause. We'll wait. All done? Great! Let's get started! To begin, connect the coax cable from your router to a coax outlet. Oh wait! Are you going to want to connect your TV to this same coax outlet? If yes, grab this little doodad from your self-install kit. It's called a splitter. Connect the single end to the coax outlet and voila! Now you can connect your router and you'll still have a spot left for your TV. Okay, next connect the power cord from your router to an electrical outlet. If you'd like a wired connection to the internet, connect the ethernet cable now from your router to the computer you'd like to use. The router is powered on when the lights on the front stop blinking and become solid white. This can take up to 15 minutes. If you're connecting your devices wirelessly, get the wireless network name and password off the label on your router. From your computer, smartphone, or tablet, choose your wireless network name from the list of available networks. When prompted, enter the case-sensitive password exactly as it appears on the label. Then press Connect. Whether you've chosen a wired or wireless connection to the Internet, you still have one more step. Open an Internet browser on any computer or Internet-enabled device in your home. Go to activate.verizon.com and follow the steps to activate your Verizon account. Next up, let's get your TV service installed. To begin, connect the coax cable from your set-top box to a coax outlet. Remember, this is where you might be using that splitter we talked about. Next, connect the provided HDMI cable from the set-top box to your TV. Then, connect the power cord from the set-top box to an electrical outlet. If you haven't already done so, turn your TV on. You should see activation steps on the screen. If you don't, use the remote that came with your TV and switch the input until you see the FIOS activation screen. Then, use your FIOS remote to follow the on-screen instructions. If asked to choose SD or HD, make sure you choose HD for high definition. During this time, your set-top box will turn off and on several times. No worries, it's normal. After about 15 minutes, your set-top box will be activated and you'll be all set. If you ordered more set-top boxes, simply follow the same instructions to install and activate them on your remaining TVs. And there you have it. You're now up and running on Fios. Thanks.